Well, I'm late with this video. But, I mean, that's how I am with all my SF videos, so it fits. But still, I like making videos to talk about the series because there is so much to say. SAO honestly has some of my favorite moments in all of the anime. But it also features some of the worst moments in all of the anime. It's so weird, like, this is a perfect show to review because you can take either position or both positions and make 20 minute long videos. This one I don't think is going to be that long. I hope. We'll see how off script I get here. Though I have to say, I think War of the Underworld might be my favorite season yet. Granted, none of the other seasons are what I would call great, but you know, that's okay. It's a step up, and I like that. And War of the Underworld did a lot I really liked. And while I could pick out the flaws, and I will to a degree here, there's just a feeling about it that kept me hooked, kept me wanting more. And it was fun. Also, I'm going to get into spoilers because I don't feel like not. I mean, if you're watching this video, you've either seen it or you don't care because I'm talking about like season four of SAO. So yes, spoilers. And also, I'm going to assume that you've seen it so I don't have to like re-describe everything because that's just not fun. Though, what is the season about? Yeah, I know I said I wasn't going to describe it, but I need to get like some introduction at least, I guess. Well, it takes place in a virtual world like all the others, the underworld. There are bad guys invading, the good guys are ready to fight them off, and I could explain it more if I looked up the Wikipedia article on it. But you have Kirito alongside the good guys, and really, that's all you need. Except Kirito is unconscious for the majority of the season, unable to do anything. Which really does mess with the whole dynamic of SAO in an interesting way. The thing about Kirito is that he's not really a good main character. He's a fine support character, wonderful even, and I love seeing the impact he has on all the other characters in their lives and how he's encouraged them and pushed them forward. He actually sort of reminds me of All Might from My Hero Academia in how his impact is more interesting than the character itself. Granted, Kirito doesn't have the same flair as All Might, but still, I hope you get the point. And the whole impact thing is seen most evidently with Alice this season, but a lot of the other characters too. And I like how the pacing slowed down so much. The whole season was basically one big battle with like multiple phases in it. And with the show slowing down and expanding the cast, it really worked well to introduce these new characters or background characters that are now getting more focus. And this lets the show take the time it needs to breathe, to let them be introduced, see how they are, who they are, and see how they get all their cool moments and what they're fighting for. This made the first part feel kind of dull because they are like all these characters we didn't really know. But once the season started going, I was really enjoying it. The season as a whole, I think I would call fun as the best way to describe it. It reminded me of watching Big Show and growing up like Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, Bleach, all those type of shows, pick your favorite among them. You have these big battles with big moments. At some times it was kind of predictable, and by that I mean really predictable, but that doesn't matter because you're hooked, you're having fun, you're seeing the good guys fight evil with all that they can. And yeah, that's what it was. This was most evidently seen when they brought everyone from the previous seasons back for the grand finale. These are the characters I have seen over the years, back since I first started getting into anime, and then they came back here, showing who they were, what they were fighting for, and just making a difference with everything that they've been given. You could say that this was just fan service for fans of SEO, and yeah, it was, but it was a good type of fan service. Plus, it fit with the show thematically so well. In a way, it was like they're showing the weight of the world being carried by all of them and that they would not have the strength to do so alone. But it was also great showing the power of video games, the way they're able to connect people across great distances. Really, SAO is not an isekai, despite feeling like one sometimes. It's an anime about video games, the joy of exploring them, the friendships and connections they allow us to form, and then the whole technology aspect too, and how that drives society forward. I also really like how it showed so many of the characters here and gave them a chance to shine. Like Kirito's harem got the god powers and that lets them do a lot of really cool things, which makes sense because they're important. But even the minor characters like Klein got their moments too, or like Yuki's friends that Asuna be met back in the Mother's Rosario arc. It was an interesting touch too how like the villains got the other players to show up from the real world too, basically through propaganda, which is fascinating. 
And then it was also cool with the villains also having a connection back to Kirito and Essay as a whole. Just this made it feel like a grand finale, which was fantastic because I thought this would be the grand finale. But we'll get into that later. I also thought it was cool the way they woke Kirito up, how it just threw those he bonded with, and then having Yuji be the final piece. Now, I'm not sure this makes complete sense. Okay, it doesn't really make sense at all, but SAO does play a bit loose with that whole scientific realism thing, so I won't complain too much. Though thematically, it fits perfectly. This and Alkization as a whole really dug into the idea of the soul and what it is. Waking Kirito up with the bonds of his friends shows that the soul, the essence of who we are, is found in the bonds with others. And this fits. There's a saying that we are the average of the five people we spend the most time around, so... Again, if I was like knocked out, my soul was missing, it could be reformed or it could be formed through the people that I'm really close to. The show also takes the theory that the soul is a quantum mechanical effect too, which actually I think might have some weight to it. And then you have like a weird blend here that science fiction, quantum mechanics, and the power of friendship coming together. I mean, what other show combines quantum mechanics and the power of the friendship quite like this? Okay, Zaga Pain kind of got close, but not quite like SAO. But yes, Kirito wakes up and basically stole the show in one, which is really the only thing I dislike about this season. I mean, yes, Kirito is the main character. It makes sense for him to like deliver the final blow. But it feels like the other characters needed to have more of an impact. It's, there are many of them that got really close, but then just like, it wasn't there. They like, stole the cool moments in the other characters to give it to Kirito. And yes, they could still have Kirito like, win the final battle. But I wish that the other characters had done more, especially as we're getting near the end. Or the other characters did more to fight alongside him, so it wasn't just like a one-on-one -on -one battle with Kirito and the bad guy whose name I forgot and don't feel like looking up. Though, that's only the ending for the War of the Underworld arc. Because <laughs> that's not where the show ends. And yes, you'd think that that's what this whole season would be about. That is in the title of the season. But no. It started a new arc. And I would complain that the season ended on a cliffhanger and more has not been announced. But honestly, that's not interesting. That would just be me giving a complaint I've given a hundred times before. But No. SAO jumped the shark here in the end so much it went into outer space where a fighter jet flew by it. And it may seem like I'm bashing the show, but I'm actually not at all. I think that this is really cool. Apparently the next arc is called the Unatol Ring arc, which has a lot of interesting ideas going into it. Though skimming the summary on the wiki makes it be confused because I don't see like how that description matches what I saw quite. I don't know, I'm confused. But I'm fascinated. There's a whole conflict between the AI and humanity, but I think the most interesting part of it could be how Kirito could be the villain of the next season. Well, the Kirito that didn't have his memories erased and had the copy. Actually, that was kind of weird how they like introduced that and like, shoved it in the last minute. But if they do this correctly, I think it'll be worth the kind of ham fisting that in. Granted, I don't have a ton of faith in SAO's ability to execute the story, but the ideas are here at least. And so the idea that Kirito could be both the hero and villain? Actually, I wonder if Kirito would be more interesting as a villain. Because, like, as a main character, he's not that great. I know I've said that a lot, but he's not. But as a villain, I think he could have something like the villainous flair, the noble desires twisted, in, or maybe not even twisted. Maybe he's also sort of right. And the other Kirito that had his memories wiped on Earth, fighting against him, and... Yeah, lots of interesting ideas and things there. Maybe I'll get into the light novels. That would be fun. Granted, I've considered doing that for other series, but never did. But yeah, I need more time for things. Though, let me know if you want me to do like videos on the light novel. If there's interest, I will definitely consider it. Either way, War of the World or War of the Underworld was just a fun time. May not be the best anime ever, but really, a show doesn't have to be super amazing to be a good time. I can appreciate the like dark, serious, deep storytelling of some of the other shows that have come out recently. And yes, those are fantastic, don't get me wrong. But sometimes I just want a fun action show. And SAO provides that, gives me some interesting sci-fi ideas. And together, well, it was fun. I know I said that a lot. But really, that's how I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And 
be sure to stay well i so yes thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this video and i will be back next time with i have no idea what video but i hope you'll be here to enjoy it and again thank you and i will see you next time